Hey folks, it's Mark here from Harmonics Tuition where we give you the knowledge to get good on the guitar. Harmonics is your channel for easy to follow guitar lessons for all levels. Today is an intermediate lesson and it is showcasing an iconic riff by one of the greatest bands ever in the world, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden are a classic heavy metal band. They're beloved the world over. I urge you to go and check them out. The riff that we're covering today is from the magnificent Power Slave album and it is the title track of the album, Power Slave. The riff has an awesome Egyptian style sound to it. It's got the classic Iron Maiden gallop technique to it. And there's a little bit of hammer-ons and pull-offs going on, a little bit of a fiddly bit at the end. So it's intermediate. Anyway, let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, let's break it down. Okay, so I'm gonna break this riff into two halves. The first half starts with, well, you could actually play an open A power chord here, like that. So you'd be playing zero or open uh, A string and first finger on fret two on the D string. Just those two strings, okay? Now you can either start with that or just start with the dampening, okay? now. The way Maiden play it is when they're repeating this lick, they do like, kind of like an A power chord. And they use that as the one. And then they do the three dampens, which we'll go through in a minute. Let's just start with a, a simple once down stroke dampened A string. Okay, like that. So we're gonna do one. Then we're gonna go down, up, down, all palm muted. Okay, like that, and I'm using the fleshy part of my hand. So, like that, one, one, two, three. So down, down, up, down, all muted. Okay, and I do that three times, like that. And as I do the, the last downstroke of the set of three, of the three down, up, downs, I go. Okay, and that's a C power chord. So I've got my first finger on fret three on the A string, and I've got my third finger or pinky or however you do your power chords on fret five on the D string. And I'm actually catching those two strings with an upstroke. Okay, so let's do that again slowly. Like that. Okay. Then I do exactly the same thing again. This time I'm playing an A sharp or B flat and my first finger is on fret one and my third or pinky, whichever you use, is on fret three on the D string. So that's fret one on the A string, fret three on the D string. And I'm catching that with an upstroke also. Okay. Then we repeat what we did at the very beginning, which is you catch the C chord again on the upstroke. That's basically the end of part one. So let me do it for you nice and slow, okay? And then I'll talk about something extra at the end and we'll finish off part one. So here it is all together nice and slow. Like that, okay? So if you notice, I am doing the one at the beginning of each one. So one, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, chord. One, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, chord. One, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, chord. What I wanted to talk about, the extra thing is, is you can add the octave to these two power chords if you want. Some people do, some people don't. If you want to brighten up the chord a little bit more, then you can add the note under your third finger or your pinky by flattening it. You can add that underneath. So for example, on this C chord here, my first finger is on fret three on the A string. My third finger is on fret five on the D string. And if I put my pinky on fret five on the G underneath and catch that, what I'm getting there is the octave of the C. And it just brightens up the chord a bit by adding in that sort of higher note, that extra C. Okay, so you can do that if you want. So. Oh. 
Okay, and that's the end of part one. Just want to take a second to thank you for liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the notification bell so you never miss any uploads. If you're interested in coaching with me directly, any of our social media links or our products, check below in the description box. So for part two, this awesome little Egyptian lick that they kind of do to end the riff and cycle it round. So it starts on fret five on the A string, and that's with my second finger. I'm gonna have my first finger on fret four just behind it, and it looks like this. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm downstroking fret five, upstroking fret four, downstroking fret five again, upstroking fret seven with my pinky, downstroking five, then I'm upstroking fret four, hammering to five, pulling off to four, and landing with my third finger on fret six on the low E, like this. And I'm downstroking that, that fret six on the E. Okay, so all together that'll look like this. Okay, and then we're back to the A and looping the lick over again. And I recommend that you start looping this lick over again rather than just playing a one muted like we did. You actually play a full A power chord here. So open A, two on the D. It gives it that extra kind of oomph it needs to start again. Part two, up to speed. Okay, and what you want to try and do is you want to do this upstroke on the four and use it as a kind of springboard to go hammer, pull off, and down there with the downstroke. Like that. Really use the velocity of that upstroke to give you the volume and the kind of push you need to get it done. So now it's just a case of putting part one and part two together so we get the whole riff. Let's do that. Nice and slow. intermediate playlist for you here. I am sure there's going to be lessons in there that will be of value to you, so make sure you check it out. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.